Shaka, Barak the Hawa, Barak the Hawa Shah, Call Halayim, Light Hawa by Shimao Shah, Call Halayim, Light Hawa by Shimao Shah, Shalawam wa Barakim, Labakarim Shayasha Allah, Washani Kabad, Gawala wa Quab, Zakonim Noah, Shayasha Allah, Baith, Abariath Mayawam, Hashak. All right, giving all praise to the Most High, Yahawa, in the name of his son, Yahawa Shah. Peace and blessings be upon the elected Israel out there, the men, women, and children, the Akim, Akwathim, Wabunim, Shariah, All right, the brothers, the sisters, and, and, and the young ones, the elect of our nation. And double honors to uh, our elders and apostles, known as Great Millstone these times, the heads of our nation, leading us in the way of truth uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Rachah, Kadash. All right, so the Hebrew word of uh, of today is going to be the Hebrew word darkness, okay? The Hebrew word darkness, which means, uh, I'm sorry, which the way you say it is acha. Asha, and a ka, all right, with the connector between the sha and the ka. Chashak, chashak, and Ibariath Mayawam, chashak. The Hebrew of the the Hebrew of today is going to be the Hebrew word darkness. Okay, so now I have some precepts, of course, where this word comes up, and um, I have them in an order where uh, can, it can be edifying. So I'm going to go through these precepts and just speak on these a little bit, where this Ibariath Mayawam, chashak appears. Okay, so this is Matthew 10 and. Uh, uh, 27, straight to the point here. That's what Yahweh Shah said. It says, What I tell you by Chashak, or what I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what and what ye hear in in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. Okay, so this truth that we have, we are not to deny deny this truth. All right, we are supposed to declare declare it, uh, Everywhere, man. We're not supposed to hold back, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemia We are what what's what's told to us in secret, the deep things of these scriptures. We go out and uh, uh and speak it on the highways and byways, man. I mean, we put this thing up on the internet. We are on the forefront of this, man. Okay. Uh, now, this is a scripture I was looking for. Uh, yeah, this is Acts 20 and 27. It says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. Okay, so that goes along right with what Yahweh Shai said. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And that word, chashak, all right, when you look it up, it also means in secret, all right, or in hiding, or in the shadows. All right, because a lot of these things that we go into in these deeper meanings of the scriptures, we go into them amongst ourselves, which is ba chashak. Really, it's in darkness. All right, but at the same time, if we get questions asked about these scriptures, all right, we have to feed our people. We have to show them the light, which is Yahweh Shah. All right, he is that light that came into the world, but it said what this that men love darkness, pursuant to uh, John the first chapter. Okay, so. Th the things that we are speaking in light and declaring on the housetops are, is, are the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So in Amos, that's why it says this. Uh, Yahweh Shai said he he warned us that we would be hated of, of all men for his namesake. All right. And for this word that we hold because they're all in darkness and we bear the light. All right. They're called Bahashak, which means all in darkness. Amos 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. And they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. All right. And what are we speaking uprightly? The coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the coming of our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shah to destroy this place. All right. So when you skip further down in this chapter, Amos or Amwas, which means burden, Amos 5 and 18, it says this Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord! Exclamation point. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is. Chashak and not light. All right. So the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. All right. Which is going to be a secret in, in the shadows and darkness to certain people. All right. Because a lot of our people of our nation, they claim that they love the Lord. They say this is the day that the Lord had made, 
having no idea what the day of the Lord is. What end is it? How is it going to end for them? All right. That's why I said here to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him and went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Those are these are dark things. This means there's going to be no comfort in this place known as America and throughout the earth, man. For everything that has happened and all the darkness that they have put forth in the earth and wickedness, all right, this place deserves a whole lot of uneasiness. Verse 20, shall not the day of the Lord be chashak and not light, even very chashak and no brightness in it, right? So there's, there's going to be a lot of sorrow. No mirth is going to be in this place very soon, all right? And that's going to bring darkness over this place. It's not talking about just being dark outside. It's talking about being dark mentally, all right, being in a depressive state. Then this is the Lord's doing, Isaiah 45 and 7, all right, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create chashak. So the Lord is the one creating the chashak, all right, the darkness. He's behind it because he's a perfect balance. A lot of people question the Lord's motives. Well, we're not, we're not thinking we're not on his wavelength, man. We're nowhere near it. It says that in Isaiah 55, all right? But we do know what? That he deals in perfect balance. Everything that he does is just and true. So again, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, okay? So the the that end for these a lot of these Christians, man, when they talk about the day of the Lord, they have no idea what what that end is all right what that darkness is they think that the darkness is coming from satan all right that it's like that it's some evil spirit that uh snuck past the lord and went out and, and put evil on the earth no the lord is just said that he creates the darkness this is basic isaiah 45 and 7 all right i make peace and create evil and right now the lord is creating a lot of evil on the earth why because he's going to bring um the peace through yahweh shot really we're the peacemakers all right, we, the footmen of Yahweh Bashmi Shad down here on earth bringing out this word. We are the peacemakers. All right, we're sending peace of mind to those men that sigh and cry for all the abominations thereof in the mist. All right, pursuant to Ezekiel, the uh, ninth chapter. Okay, so now here's a curse where David actually spoke about uh, that chashak or darkness. There's another aspect of the word darkness. All right, and I pray to Yahweh Bashmi Shad. That uh, you're learning something in this in Ibariath Maya 1. All right. It says uh, Psalms 35. Psalms 35 and 3. It says, draw out the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. All right. Let me be. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Right, who's seeking after our souls right now? Right now you have these Christians, all right, which in, in ancient times, they were literally delivering us up to be put to death. All right, and very soon it's going to come to that. Yahweh Shai even warned us of that um, in this chapter here. Okay, in this chapter, he, he told us, all right, it says... Uh, the servant is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. Meaning we're going to go through the same exact things that he went through. All right. So it says, let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chafed before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. All right. So here you have, you have David actually praying to you. How about Shema Rashad to uh, uh, make the angels chase people, man. All right, this is a straight up curse. Verse six, it says, let their way be chashak and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. All right, so this is a straight up curse here. All right, David's, David's saying, look, make, let their way uh, be chashak and slippery, meaning whatever they're trying to accomplish or get towards as their vision, stop it, make it hard for them to get there, impede them. And also on top of that, let the angel plague them and send demons upon them. Those, those that evil that the Lord created, David was praying to Yahweh Bashmi Arshad to send that. All right, in the form of an angel. All right, and he also said, "What again? Let their way be chashak and slippery." I bariath my awam chashak, which means darkness. Another one. All right, concerning the day of the Lord. 
this is Tazapanya, all right, or Zephaniah 1, and uh, I'm going to start at 14. It says, the great day of Yahweh Bashim Shah is near, it is near, and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And the reason why I'm saying Bashim Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh is not coming back to get us. He's sending Yahweh Shah. There's, there's too many prophecies that prove that, all right? And that's another thing. Everybody who's in darkness and not in the light of this truth that we speak, they don't deal with prophecy. They they don't go into prophecy. They run away from it. They're afraid of it. All right. They don't because they're uh, uh they don't have the confidence and the faith to actually believe what's being said. All right. It says even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. All right. You have a lot of people that say that they're mighty in this truth, or you got they're out in the gym building weights. All right, uh, storing up food uh, uh, for, as uh, in, in their bunkers. You know. When the day of the Lord comes, a lot of those people, because they put their faith in the wrong thing, all right, especially the Israelites, they're going to be crying there bitterly, all right, not no regular crying, we're talking about some extreme weeping, all right, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of chashak and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick chashak, a day of of the trumpet and alarm against the fence cities and against the high towers all right and the main high tower is going to be destroyed as america is going to be by nuclear fire world war three is going to end with this place being destroyed that is the truth and that is going to be a day of chashak which means darkness that's how you say darkness in hebrew all right that's the ibariath mayawam Chashak, all right, and I pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that He continues to pull us out of darkness and keep us out of Chashak and bring us further into the light of Yahweh Shai so we can receive salvation. I hope some edification came out of this edition of Ibariath Maya Wum. Uh, again, I want to say, Call Halal, Call Halal, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachakadash, Shalawam, Wabarakim, Labakarm, Shayasha Allah, Washin Yakabad, Gawala Wakwab. Zekwanyam Nawa Shayasha Allah Ba'ith Shalom.